Welcome back to Switched to Linux. It is Monday, and today we're going to talk about should I upgrade, looking at five considerations. Now, of course, Linux Mint just released their 19.2 release, and uh, we have the Cinnamon, the Mate, the XFCE releases, and, you know, some people, as soon as a upgrade is out, they want to go out and run, run for it, and some people might want to hold back, and if you're new to Linux, you might be asking, you know, why should I upgrade, why should I not upgrade? So we're going to talk about five considerations, whether or not you should upgrade to a new point release for whatever your distribution happens to be. You know, should you run all your security upgrades, things like that. Security upgrades, you generally want to run, uh, but there's times that you have a point upgrade that you may or may not want to. And so here we're going to look at five considerations to ask yourself and to think about. Number one is your hardware. Several of the newer pieces of hardware, you will need to be running the latest kernels in order to run. So the first consideration you might want to consider is what hardware you're running. Well, you can get by with many of the Linux kernels on most hardware. If you are running the very latest, very cutting edge, whether that be a particular graphics card or your motherboard or your processor, you might want to run an upgrade, particularly in the Linux Mint versions up to 19.2 will get you up to Linux kernel 5 without doing weird things to install it. And that means that you're going to run a lot better on the newer processors that are out if you upgrade to Linux Mint 19.2 versus if you don't. And so if you are running some of the latest cutting edge hardware or if you are having some type of hardware conflicts, it is definitely worth attempting to upgrade the distribution that you are running. Number two, is your system working in the current state? I always, always, always have a recommendation that if your system is running, do not change the distro. You might install your security updates. I definitely recommend that because you're not usually going to break your system with security updates. But if you're running your computer as everything is working just great, you could actually run into some hardware incompatibility if you roll up your distro's versions. So if you're on Linux Mint 18.3 and you're not yet on the 19 branch, but everything is working and there's no problems at all, you know, everything's just fine, I wouldn't bother upgrading. You don't need to. Just don't worry about it. But if there is somebody, maybe it's like, you know, this USB port doesn't work and I don't know why, I think it's probably hardware or the wireless card's a pain to get working or Bluetooth doesn't connect the way it should, other weird little hardware configurations, then in that case, yeah, it's definitely worth going in and upgrading the system. But if nothing's working or if nothing, <laughs> nothing's working, you know, if everything is working just fine on your computer, I don't recommend changing your distro as long as it is still receiving security updates. Uh, Linux Mint 18.3 will still be in support for at least another, I don't know, somewhere between six months and a year and a half or so. I forget exactly what it is from the time I'm recording this video, but it still does receive its updates. And so as long as it's receiving updates, I don't have a specific reason to go in the 19 branch yet. You may or may not, depending on whether your hardware is working well or not. Number three is software versions. Anytime you're going to roll up your distribution's version, you are going to see a change in some packages. Some of these will bring radical improvements. Some of these, mm, they may not be the improvements you want. GIMP 2.10, for example, still doesn't work with a few of the functions that I use on a regular basis, so I don't use GIMP 2.10 anywhere I don't have to. I stay on 2.8 until I know those things are resolved. So rolling up to a distribution that's going to roll up my GIMP version, I don't specifically want to do that yet. But there are a lot of Linux software packs that are really making a lot of positive moves. And if you need to get some of those latest updates and latest versions, it is absolutely worth upgrading the system. Once again, though, if everything is working fine, if you know how your software works and you don't have any specific conflicts, I would not roll up your distribution because you might have 
some software might change, some UI might change, something might alter your workflow, and unless you have the time to relearn your workflow in the event of an issue, then in that case, you could do yourself more damage than good. So if everything is working on your software, you may wanna wait for a while before you upgrade. If there are some issues and you're saying, eh, I really need the latest software anyway, then it's worth rolling up to get the latest versions of the software. Number four is specific new features of the distro itself. In the Linux Mint branch, the best things I can think of is there's been a lot of improvements into the update manager, particularly around the kernels. The first is with Linux Mint 19 branch, while it still ships with 4.15, you can actually natively support and install up to kernel five if you need to, which is great. The earlier versions of Mint won't do that. Now, can you get those installed? Yes, you can, but not as a necessary feature of the system. The system also now features the ability to add and remove new kernels, and there's other some other update systems um, that, that also work well. There are a few other tools that are improved, so if you need a new feature that's built into the distribution, it's definitely worth rolling up. But again, if everything is working fine and you're not a, at a need to have to change your kernel versions or whatever else, it might again just be better to hold those versions back, not worry about it, and just hold off just a little bit longer before you push those updates. And number five is your test or experimental computers. These ones are the ones you generally wanna roll those distros as quick as you can. What do I mean by this? Well, I have a couple computers that I always run more modern things. I use as test cases. I make sure that when I roll an upgrade that I either A, know that the UI is not gonna change or B, have the ability to figure out if my UI is gonna change. So like Blender I use every now and again. Blender just released 2.8 and it looks really nice, but it's a completely different workflow. So I'm gonna have to work a little bit with that on the new UI before I go ahead and roll my main systems up because I don't wanna get surprised and have to spend a lot of my time when I should be working on a project figuring out a new UI instead. So if you're running a test or an experimental computer, you might be doing that just to test to make sure any software changes actually work or to make sure that your new workflow is working or to make sure that forwards and backwards compatibility is there. So for example, GIMP 2.10 is not backwards compatible with 2.8. That means that if I do something on GIMP 2.10, I cannot open those files back up in an earlier version of GIMP. I wanna be able to test all of those things. And that's why we keep test or experimental computers laying around so that I might have a kind of a mirror of my main operating system here. I might have that mirrored to something else. Roll the update on the other computer, play around with it. As long as I don't see any bugs or any issues, then I know that I'm pretty safe to roll up the latest version. So in the case of your experimental or test computers, generally you always want to roll those as quickly as you can. Otherwise they're not test or experimental computers now, are they? So those are my five considerations about whether you should upgrade, just some things to think about. You know, just because a new release was, uh, was uh, put out doesn't mean you actually have to go and upgrade to that new release right away. There is a lot of wisdom in holding back, being slow, and waiting to make sure everything is ironed out first. So those are my tips. Let me know your tips in the comments down below.